In this video, I will show you some hints for doing the final project. I have created the form, and you can feel free to change the layout if you like. Uh, these are la all of these are labels. The labels on the right side, I have changed the properties to auto size false, border style fixed 3D and text align, I left it blank. I have created a, a simulated student file with answers, which I will show you that. I have saved the response.txt file in this folder bin and then debug. See right there? I'm going to open it. So what I have done is that I have incorrectly answered the first four questions and correctly answered the rest. So this is what your response.txt file should look something similar to this. So when you run this program, it will open the text file and compare the, the correct answer to the one that's in the text file and give you a score. So when I run this and I click grade, the student has passed because they, ha they scored higher than 14 correct answers. So it says they have 16 correct answers. The number of incorrect answers are 4. And the questions that they missed were 1, 2, 3, 4, because I made the first four answers incorrect. So one thing, you need to create an array, which is the key for the test. So you can either make it a character or a string array. I chose to do string. So you can say string, and then this, make, this means that it's an array of strings test key. And I put some of the values in here. I didn't do all 20 values. So like answer, the first is B, D, A, C. And I skipped a few here until I get put the last value, which is A. How do you process the text file? Well, since it's, since, uh, it's going to be an array of 20, you create a constant called size. I created an array called answers which is, has 20 elements. And then this code right here will open the file, read the values, and assign, and assign each line to an, to, the index of the, to an index of the array. So that is pretty much all you need to, uh, the hints that I've given you for this program, plus the ones that are on Brightspace. So good luck.